Hello and welcome. A new case in linear programming solution by graphical method. And this time we are going to discuss a case with greater than or equal to sign. Previously we discussed a few cases with less than or equal to sign. Now it is turn off the case having constraints with greater than or equal to sign. Generally this sign matches with the minimization objective but it can never be taken as compulsory. Sometimes greater than or equal to sign can be there in a case of maximization and less than or equal to sign can be there in case of minimization. So it is not compulsory to have any one kind of signs in case of objective of minimization or maximization. Okay, yeah, next. The case is minimize z equals to 3x1 plus 2x2 subject to x1 and x2 both are non-negative 5x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10 x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 6 and the third is x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to 12. Okay, let's go for segregation into equality as well as inequality 5x1 plus x2 equals to 10 let's have the two points to draw the line if x1 takes value 0 it will be x2 equals to 10 if x2 takes value 0 it will be 5x1 equals to 10 so x1 equals to 2 now inequality part 5x1 plus x2 greater than 10 if x1 takes value 0 then it will be x2 greater than 10 if x2 takes value 0 it will be 5 x1 greater than 10 so x1 greater than 2 another constraint x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 6 as usual first equality part x1 plus x2 equals to 6 and let's have the two points to draw the straight line of this equation or equality and if x1 is 0 x2 equals to 6 if x2 takes value 0 x1 equals to 6 x1 plus x2 greater than 6 will be the inequality part if x1 takes value 0 then x2 greater than 6 if x2 takes value 0 then x1 greater than 6 and the third constraint x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to 12. So equality part will be x1 plus 4x2 equals to 12. Two points to draw a straight line will be. If x1 is 0 then 4x2 equals to 12. So x2 will take value 3. x2 equals to 0 then x1 equals to 12. Inequality part will be x1 plus 4x2 greater than 12. If x1 takes value 0, then 4x2 greater than 12. Hence x2 greater than 3. And if x2 takes value 0, then x1 greater than 12 will be there. Now we can draw the graph. I am going to draw a, only a sketch of the graph. You please use the graph paper and draw the graph properly with utmost accuracy. Lowest value on x1 is 2, highest value is 12. So first quadrant only. And in case of x2 also, lowest value is 3, highest value is 10. No negative value in both the cases. So first quadrant only. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And on X two, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, you can take scale of 1 cm equals to 1 unit on both the axis. The first is x1, 2 and x2, 10. x1 is 2 and x2 is 10. We need to draw a straight line joining these two points or passing through these two points. 
Yes, since I am drawing a sketch and on this kind of board it is not possible to draw a straight line easily. Yes, so believe this is a, a straight line. Yeah, 5x1 plus x2 equals to 10. Okay, inequality is x2 greater than 10, greater than upper side, outer side x1 greater than 2 again outer side shading will be on outer side second x1 plus x2 yes x1 is 6 and x2 is also 6 x1 plus x2 equals to 6 x1 greater than 6 that means outer side x2 greater than 6 that means outer side or upper side shading will be on the upper side so for these two this will be the common region and the last is 3 sorry x1 12 and x2 3 x1 plus 4x2 equals to 12. Okay, x1 greater than, so here, x1 greater than 12, greater than 12, that means outer side or upper side, x2 greater than 3, upper side or outer side, yes, shedding will be on the upper side of the line, so, shedding, 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 okay. In this problem, there are many small new points we are covering. Yes, the first it is a minimization case, second all the constraints are with greater than or equal to sign and number three this is technically called unbounded solution because now the sky is the limit for shaded region. Yeah, that kind of situation is there. Everything is greater than so and so. So, the graph of inequality part goes on the outer side up to the infinite. Okay, this is called unbounded solution. Three small new points we are covering in this case. Now, one, two, three and four corner points are available. Four corner points are available. Okay, no problem. Which four corner points? A is 0 and 10, B is 1 and 5, C is 4 and 2 and D is 12 and 0. Yes, we have 4 vertices, 4 corner points on the feasible region and as we are well aware that the optimal solution lies on the corner points of the feasible region that is the fundamental law of linear programming okay let's check what happens to the objective function by all these corner points and this time we are also going to check whether the optimal solution satisfies all the constraints or not but first of all, let's have the minimum value and get the optimal solution according to the steps we have already followed till this time. Yes, corner point. As I told, I prefer to use simple most terms. You can learn many other terms from the reference books or dictionary of mathematics and statistics. Yes, corner point coordinates and z equals to 3x1 plus 2x2 ok there are 4 corner points a 0 and 10 so 3 into 0 plus 2 into 10 will be 0 plus 20 equals to 20 b is 1 and 5 
3 into 1 plus 2 into 5. So it will be 3 plus 10, 13. C, 4 and 2. 3 into 4 plus 2 into 2. That is 12 plus 4, 16. D, 12 and 0. 3 into 12 plus 2 into 0. It will be 36 plus 0 equals to 36. Yes, carefully watch which is the objective. It is minimization. Objective is minimize 3x1 plus 2x2. So minimum value of z is at point B and coordinates are 1 and 5. So x1 equals to 1, x2 equals to 5 and minimum z equals to 13 is the optimal solution of the linear programming problem. Now the first constraint is 5x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10. Let's substitute 5 into 1, 5 plus 5, 10. Equality part is satisfied. Yes? Okay. Second is x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 6. x1 is 6, x2 is 5, 1 plus 5 equals to 6. Again, equality part of the second constraint is satisfied. Either equality or inequality part must be satisfied. Then only the solution at which we have arrived becomes the optimal solution. The third constraint is x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to 12. x1 means 1. 4 into 5 equals to 20. 1 plus 20 equals to 21. 21 is greater than 12. So the inequality part greater than 12 is satisfied. Either equality part or inequality part must be satisfied in case of all the constraints x and x1 and x2 both are greater than 0. So here also inequality part is satisfied. If all the constraints are satisfied then only the solution can be said to be optimal solution. That's it. Thank you very much.